this is a model of carbonate ion CO3 2 minus so we look from the front view side view and top view as well and we can see that all atoms on the same plane so that's why the geometry shape for this ion is trigonal planar all right so now we are going to find out the symmetric element separation for this ion so first we find the rotation axis from the top view because this is trigonal shape so we can put the axis passing through the central atom carbon and then we can see that the angle here is 120 degree so it means that we can rotate C3 exists. So this ion has C3 exists. We rotate 120 degree. So we try to move. We get the same configuration. And on the same axis, we can also rotate 360 degree, which is C1 exists. So here, because the axis passing through the central atom from the top so we draw a point and label as C3 and C1 exists alright next we can also rotate this molecule this ion through the C2 exists so C2 exists here passing through the CO bond. So we can rotate 180 degree. Because this ion has 3 CO bond, so it should be this ion has 3 C2 axis. One here, the second C2 axis here, and the third C2 axis will be here. So, there are three C2 axis. So, we can draw here C2. And the main axis for this ion is C3. Alright, the next symmetry elements operation is reflection plane. This molecule is planar, so for sure we can find a plane cuts through all atoms. Right? And this plane is perpendicular with the main axis C3. So we can label this plane as sigma H. This plane cuts through all atoms, sigma H, because perpendicular with the main axis. And then, I can see that we can also cut this ion into two when we put the plane here. So, the plane parallel with the CO bond cutting through the CO bond, CO bond and at the same time cut the angle here 120 degree so we get the same configuration so the plane can be here the same plane also can be here and also can be here and these three planes actually is are parallel with the main axis so that's why all the three planes are vertical planes the plane cutting through here and here so sigma v sigma v and sigma V 
there are three vertical planes. And then we try to find out S3. Why? Because this ion has C3. So we want to check for the S3. So first we need to rotate C3 through this central atom. So we rotate. After that, we reflect through the plane and the plane must be perpendicular with the axis. So we get the same configuration. So that's why this ion has S3 symmetry elements operation. So we try to list all the symmetry elements operation for this carbonate ion. Identity S3 C1 C3 main axis 3 C2 exist Sigma H and 3 Sigma V Next, we want to find the point group for this carbonate ion Alright, so we look here this ion has C3 and 3 C2 exist. And again, what we can see, this is the C3 exist. And the C2 exist here, actually perpendicular with the main exist C3. This one, this one and this one perpendicular with the main axis. So, it means that what we can say there are 3 C2 axis perpendicular with the main axis C3. So, that's why this ion, the point group for this ion is dihedral point group. So, it can be Dn, Dnh, Dnd, or D infinity H. This carbonate ion is not linear, so not this one. And this carbonate ion, as what we can see, has plane, so not this one. So now we look at they are two options. So this carbonate ion has one sigma H and three vertical planes. So we look at the option here D and H, D and D. So the priority is horizontal. And this carbonate ion has one horizontal plane. So that's why this is the best answer. And the point group for this carbonic ion is D3 because the main axis is C3 and H priority is horizontal plane. So this is the point group for this carbonic ion.